Hey there friends, go ahead and get your watch started. We're gonna be doing a little bit of chest and shoulder workout today. Go ahead and let's grab two weights of the same size that we'll be doing both sides of the body together through this workout. So get all of your stuff together and let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our warm up. I want you to step back, alternate a reverse lunge more for a warm-up, and then we can reach those arms a little bit more forward as we step back. Press through that front foot, stepping together. You might be challenged a little bit on your balance here, just stepping forward and back. Nice exhale, we're keeping that chest up. Nice and tall. Do one more each leg. And then what I want you to do here is let's go down and do a squat. So we're going to squat down and just come up. Sit your butt back like you're sitting into a chair. Now what I want you to do is bring those arms forward and sit down into that squat. We're going to add a little reach back. So sit down, reach back with one arm and then pull up. Sit back, reach with the other arm and up. So we bring those arms forward, reach back one side, standing up and then take it to that other arm. Good, so we're sitting into that squat just to reach back and push through using your glutes to come back up to that standing Position. We're going to do one more each arm reach back. All right, awesome. Now, let's just go into some toe touches, getting a little release of the low back and hamstrings here. So you're going to reach up. And then take it down to the floor and reaching back up overhead. Slight bend in those knees for me as you go down to the floor. We'll do a little bit of standing forward for the first part of the combination. One more time down, and you bring it up. Just grab one weight for this part, okay? So, one weight, you're gonna hold lengthwise. I'm gonna have a couple options for you here. We can start, though, with the weight right in front of your collarbone, and you're gonna get up nice and tall using that chin retraction, so that slide that chin straight back, which lifts your chest, it activates your abdominal muscles. So we hold that. And then you're gonna alternate a high knee. So what you should feel in the difference of your posture is if you use that chin retraction, you pretend like you're eavesdropping on a conversation behind you and glide that chin back. You should feel more of abdominal engagement rather than if you're just relaxed with your shoulders coming forward and all of that. All right, so nice and tall and that makes a difference. Now, if you wanna make this a little more advanced, we're gonna take those arms overhead, hold that weight up as straight with those arms as you can, keeping that tall posture. And what we don't want is we don't want that weight to come back and open the ribs like this. We want to keep a neutral spine, okay? So we're holding. If at any time you need to lower this weight back down, you can. Now, we're gonna lower. Here, bring it down. What I want you to do is step your left leg back and 
We're gonna have that weight in front of us slightly. You're gonna pull those elbows in towards the knee and lower down, exhale. Exhale as we pull in. Now you'll feel, should feel that forward, but you'll also feel that stationary leg getting work as well. Now you can determine whether you're taking that weight out just halfway in front of you, or you can extend further and bring it in. And as you extend that weight further, you may notice that your abs are on fire just a little bit more, helping you to step back and pull that leg in. Last one, and we lower down. A little breather, and we're gonna go to that other side. So you want your right leg to step back, bend those elbows to begin with, okay? Pull in, drop it back and extend those arms. So we get the motion first, and then you can work on your pace by how fast you're doing this, okay? Remember to breathe. You want a good exhale. You're doing great. Determine how far out that weight goes out in front of you or how quickly you're doing these. As long as you're keeping your form, that matters more than you trying to pump these out super fast, okay? Last one, and step it back. So what I want you to do is let's add these together. Let's go two and two with each one. So let's take that weight up overhead. You want four total marches here. So one, two, three, and four. Come down, step that right leg back. Step your left leg back. And two thrusts. Bring it in, step the other side back, two thrusts. And then bring it in, weight overhead. We have four marches. Now, step your left leg back. That's two times, other side, thrust. And then we step it in, weight overhead for four marches. Left leg goes back, two thrusts, right side, right into it. You got it, weight overhead, four marches. All right, lower, left leg back. We go into two, right leg back, and two. Let's go back up. We're gonna do two more of each, and step that left leg back. Woo, right leg. One more time, weight up. March for four, and one, lower down. Step back, two thrust. Other side, two thrust. And you get to release. Amazing job. Back quick with our ab section, and that was fast. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and grab both weights here. Okay, and what I want you to do is we're gonna go down into wide leg squats first, okay? So we can rest those weights down on your hips, or you can hold at your shoulder here. So I'm gonna leave that up to you for now, okay? Wide legs, toes are turned out to the side, so external rotation. We sit straight down into that squat, and just push those feet into the floor coming up, nice and tall. So, modify by how deep you're going into this squat. If you need to go here and up, that's where you need to stay. If you're feeling, you know, if you have any issues with your knees or any of that kind of stuff. But if you can go deeper and you have no knee discomfort or no back discomfort, you can do that. You can drop these weights if you need to at any point. If you're tired from that core, section, we can take this as a breather, okay? 
Nice exhale up. So let's go one more. Now we're gonna step it in for the arm part of this. So what I want you to do is I want you to just go half curl and down. Now, I know that I said we're primarily working chest and shoulders, but in order to get to that shoulder and chest exercise, we're gonna have to do a half curl. Okay, so we're gonna practice this motion first, and it's just a 90 degree bend and lower. So this might not feel heavy to you, but the next movement will be a challenge, okay? One more. All right, lower those arms. We're gonna step it out, bend those knees a little bit. Here's your half curl with your elbows hugging your rib cage, and you're gonna cross punch. It doesn't matter which arm you start with. You turn your torso following that punch. So your shoulders should go towards the same direction as your hand. Your legs should stay facing forward and you're not getting movement like rotating those hips and knees with you. You're just moving and twisting at the waist for this one. If you feel like your neck is trying to help you do this exercise, you can punch a little lower to try to get more shoulders and chest involved. This is also an oblique exercise. All right, we're gonna bring it in and get just a slight breather here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to that wide leg squat. Now what I want you to do is for wide legs, toes turned out, let's bend those elbows and squat down. I want you to go two cross punches on each side and then stand up and straighten those arms. Bend and lower, two to each side and then straighten, bend, and stand up. So we have four punches total, and four, and then we're up. Hammer curl, four punches, and then up, and hammer. Stand up, hammer curl, lowering into your wide leg squat, and up. One, two, three, and four. Notice I'm twisting, but my legs are staying in position. And lower down, last one. All right, get a little release here. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into um, a wide squat with our feet position a little more than shoulder width apart. Weights are down by your side here. So sit back and push through. Push those feet into the floor. Make sure those toes are parallel with each other. So your feet are like your right leg isn't stepped further forward than your left. So your hips will be um, even as you push back, like you're looking for that chair behind you. We're gonna go one more squat. All right, when we come up, let's rotate those palms out. You can bring those feet in a little bit. We're gonna cross and lift forward. Palm goes up to the ceiling, alternating sides, and you cross to that opposite shoulder. Using your chest in the front of your shoulders here. A little bit of biceps as well. Nice exhale as you lift. Keep breathing. We're gonna go 
one more lift and lower. All right, let's go ahead and add those two together. So we want that wide leg stance here and you're gonna squat down and lift, rotate those palms out, cross. Let's go to each side, just like our cross punch and then take those weights back to the side, squat and then we cross to each side. A total of four and then lower down into your squat. Cross it with that palm lifting towards the ceiling and you're not going any further than shoulder height whenever we come up. Last one here and then squat. Palms out, cross for four, one and down. Back up, we come up super quick. Okay, back to your squat. We're crossing for four. Keeping that core engaged as you cross. Nice and tall stance, just letting that arm cross the body. Let's just go one more here. And now you can release and grab yourself a sip of water. We're gonna do just a little cardio move in between. So grab your sip of water, catch your breath just a little bit. And then what I want you to do is we're gonna um, step into curtsy lunges, but we're gonna start to pick up the pace. So we're gonna alternate sides. You cross, step it wide, and go to the other side, back. Now, you can make it a little bit wider so that you're not hopping, but we're challenging ourselves to take it a little bit wider. And then if you need to, you can make that cross back a little smaller. If this bothers your knees in any way, you can do that. Now, to make this a little bit more advanced, what you can do is we can go Reach down, step it to the side, and then we reach down towards that front foot. This is inner and outer thighs here. So just like that wide leg squat with the toes turned out to the side, we were working inner and outer thigh. So you'll feel that a little bit more in that inner and outer thigh as you lower down. Now, if you need to, and you stay up here, that's fine. Or if you need to take a break from that reach down, and we stay and we get up tall, you can do that. You can still tell that I'm still getting work. <laughs> I'm still having to breathe a little bit heavier. So you're getting your heart rate up. We'll just go one more and release. Let's just march it out. Get a little breather before we drop those weights. Okay. All right, so let's grab it. Let's go from the top here. Okay, so grab those weights for me. And I want you to go toes turned out. When we turn those toes out, we bend those elbows. When we lower into the squat. So we bend and you go for four. One, two, three, four. When we come up, rotate those feet forward a little bit and just go into your squat, up, and then cross, lift. Palm up to the ceiling. We lower, turn those toes out. Squat, hammer curl, four punches. Last one, bring it up, turn those toes forward, squat and cross lift. One more. Just turn those toes out. Squat, cross punch for four. Awesome. Turn it forward and squat down. Cross lift. Three and four. Wide legs. Squat, oh, squat down. <laughs> cross punch for four. All right, we bring it up. Feet come forward, squat back and lift that palm to the ceiling. We have two more. 
Rotate those toes out, bend, and cross punch. Bring it up, toes come forward, squat, and alternate, palm to the ceiling, cross that body. Last one, back to your wide leg, squat, cross punch. All right, we bring it up, squat. By now we're getting the hang of that foot placement, right? One more across the body. Let's go toes out, bend, cross punch for four, two, and one. We come in squat. We have four across the body. Two, last one, and toes out. Squat, cross, two, and one. Back to squat, cross the body. All right, back to your wide leg. Squat, cross punch. Bring it forward, squat down, cross the body. We're gonna go one more through this combo. Last lift, wide leg. Squat, cross punch. Last one, bring it up, squat back. Cross the front of the body. And two, and one. Now. Set those weights down. We're gonna go into our skaters one more time. So let's take it as if we're modifying first and we'll go to the advanced movement for those of you who need it. So step it wide and a little step back. Okay, so you're just stepping to the side and crossing that leg a little cross. Now if you wanna take it wider, and step that leg back, bending down just a little bit more. Hand goes just towards that inside of the calf there. You're gentle with that step off, right? So we're not doing big jumps or any of that kind of stuff. This is still low impact. It's not bad for the joint. A little bit different way to work our chest today. And so if you're sore, a little different places, like whenever you open your arms and stretch, or you all of a sudden are like, oh, why does that feel sore? This will be why. All right, so let's go one more to this side, step it up. Oh goodness, you guys have done amazing today. Let's get that pull down in. Here, so I want you to take it. Wide legs, step out. Hands down on the knees. Take your butt down and then take one shoulder cross to the front. And you're doing a little rotation, looking towards the opposite shoulder. Nice deep breath in. Push those hands to the inside of the knees. Feel this in the inner side as well. Take nine breath in. Let's come up and rotate to the other side. You can get a little deeper inner thigh stretch by lowering your butt a little bit more. And the more your shoulder is forward, you're getting that fine stretch as well. Nice deep breath. Now let's bring the butt up, feet come forward. Let's drop those hands down to the floor. Nice deep breath in, relax those arms and relax your head. Now I want you to place your left hand on the floor and if it's helpful, for you to have your weight and place your hand on your weight because you can't get down all the way to the floor, you can do that. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna take that opposite arm and we're gonna reach up. We're gonna take that opposite arm and reach up towards the ceiling and you're gonna look 
towards that hand. Okay, so we're gonna hold that slight bend in those knees for me. Just rotating in the spine, holding that up, getting your chest, getting your shoulders a little bit into that stretch. And then we're gonna bring it down. And if you need that weight, you can use that weight, or if you can take it down to the floor, we'll take it down and open that chest. That might be a deeper stretch for you. We'll fill it in different areas. If you need something to place your hand on because it's hard to get down, just please go ahead and do that. Whether it's a couple books or your weight. Nice deep breath. Hands up towards the ceiling as far as you can take it. And your eyes are going in that same direction. Take that hand down. Relax your back, relax your arms. Let's walk your feet in towards each other. I want you to slowly walk those hands up your legs. Whew. You're gonna take a nice deep breath in. We're gonna open the arms back and open up our chest. Take the arms overhead and we take the arms back in a circle. Opening the chest. So we did some chest work, some shoulder work. So we're just kind of going the reverse direction and opening up and stretching. One more time for me. All right, awesome job. So if you guys have any questions about any of the exercises today, or what you should be feeling, where, or your form, or any of that kind of stuff, please feel free to let me know. Put it in the comments or go to the Facebook page and ask me there. You guys have a blessed day.